Hi everyone, back to talk to you some more about the uh, the wonderful world change and how important it is in our lives. So uh, we kind of set the groundwork last time for why it's critical, but also some of the frustration side of it. What uh, is the reasons why that we can't experience lasting change? Something changes for a while and then it goes away or it's just not sustainable in our lives. And so, so we all know what that feels like and and so I asked you to begin to think about that, and then we would start walking down a road to talk about that. Uh, the word that comes to my mind when I'm thinking of change uh, is redo. Uh, I don't know why, but that's just a, a word that I'm always thinking about. I want another chance at that. Let me try that again. Uh, I play golf. Used to think I could play pretty pretty well, but but uh, not so much anymore. Uh, but what we talk about in golf is the word mulligan. I want another shot. I want to hit that one again. Don't count that one against me. And like in scripture, for example, it's always talking about this idea of uh, of God's redemption. So are you, uh, it's something where he reconciles us. Something was once broken, but now it's changed. It's it's made whole again. So words like redemption and reconciliation. Redo. Have you noticed something in common in all those words? They all begin with the letters R-E. It just struck me one day that that R-E is a really big deal in Scripture. And so do me a favor. I want you to take uh, my challenge. I'd like you, uh, when we get through talking here in just a second, uh, first chance you get, go to your Bibles and go to your concordance in the back and see how many words you find that begin with the letters R-E. I think you'll be surprised. Make a list. See how many of those you can put on a list. Then after that's true, think about the idea of change and add to that list some other words that come to your mind that begin with the letters R-E. We're going to develop long lists, and then next time we're together, we're going to start talking about those because I would commend to you that there's five particular words that are consistently true, part of a process that God gives us of change that's lasting from the inside out. These are five words that begin with R-E, and I want to share them with you next time we're together. So go for it. Make your list. Talk to you soon.